Hello, this is Ms. Wynn. This video will be about graphing reciprocal functions. So, a uh, reciprocal function is an equation in the form of some constant on top divided by some linear function on the bottom. The graph, or here's the parent function, we call it shape of hyperbola. Um, there's the domain and range. There are asymptotes, in a place where it's undefined, so there are restrictions basically. And to find the domain, it's limited for the values where the denominator is non zero. You remember, you cannot divide by zero. So this is the same as our restrictions. If this is our bottom and we don't want zero, x can't be negative two. That's why they have negative two there. If this is our bottom, we don't want zero, x cannot be positive five. We just change the sign. Right here, remember if it's x by itself, it just can't be zero. All right, so y'all right now find the restrictions. Um, so example one, find where it's not defined. Basically find the restriction. Well, 2x plus 5 cannot equal 0. So just solve that like normal. Subtract 5. 2x cannot equal negative 5. Divide by 2. x cannot be negative 5 over 2. All right, I mean, our trick still works from before. Just change the sign, and there's something next to x divided by it. So negative 5, then divide by 2. All right, there's a general form. That's what it looks like. Each letter is the same thing that's always done. A is vertically taller or wider, and then flipped upside down or not. If you want to be technical, which I'm not going to worry too much about, you do start at the point 1, comma A. But we have our calculator, so I just need you to know which part does it, the graph go on and where the restrictions or asymptotes are. B is horizontally taller or wider, and flip side is not, but we don't use B in here, so don't worry about it. H shifts it left and right, and it's also the vertical asymptote. Remember, that comes from our restriction. That comes from the denominator equal to zero. And k shifts up or down, and it's still our horizontal asymptote from like before. And here's the note. Always draw in the top right section unless a is negative. If a is negative, it means you flip upside down. So it would be starting in the bottom right section. So you'll see that we cut our graph into four pieces due to the asymptotes, and there's going to be four sections. Just draw the curve in the correct section. So here are our steps. Find our restrictions first. So. Find our vertical asymptote. Well, that comes from the denominator being zero, right? So, vertical asymptote. All right, and I'm going to abbreviate that from here on as VA. All right, so that's going to be our VA. All right, well, x plus 2 cannot be zero. So, if I said, oh, so I subtract 2, subtract 2, x cannot be negative 2. That means that's our asymptote at negative 2. All right, we got to find a horizontal asymptote. That's our k, so that's easy. So horizontal asymptote. Again, I'm going to abbreviate that from now on as h comma a. Asymptote, I'll call it h dot a. That's just k. Well, k is negative 1. That means y can't be negative 1. All right. Next, draw the asymptotes and sketch the curves. So this is the easy part. Draw our graph. Let's do the vertical asymptote. So it's up and down. X cannot be negative 2. So let's call this negative 2 right here. All right. Let's call that negative 2. That's the asymptote. Um, y cannot be negative 1. So if that's negative 2. Let's call this right here negative 1. Right, but notice how our graph is in four sections, the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Well, A is positive. Positive means starting on the top right. So here's my curve. My before it approaches the asymptote, but doesn't cross it. So it gets on it. All right, and then uh, you just go this way. It's a pattern. It goes up and down, up and down. All right, so it's like two curves. All right, if you wanted the starting point, which... Uh, I don't care too much about. It's 1 comma a. So the starting point was 1 comma a, or well, a is 1. But see, our h moves it left 2, so it turns to negative 1, and then k moves it down 1, so it be negative 1 comma 0. Ooh, my graph looks bad. That's okay. So really, it should have been more like this. Negative 1 comma 0 is right there. Anyways, you just need to know the general curve. But I guess I'm going to fix right here. Right now, if worst case scenario, you just type in the calculator, see what it looks like. You'll see it matches that. So our problem was 
y equals fraction 1 on top, x plus 2 on bottom, minus 1 on the side, graph, goes down, goes up, and you see if I trace that negative 1, you have the point negative 1 comma 0. All right, so again, I don't care about the starting point, I just need to know where the asymptotes and can you draw the curves in the correct spot. Now, it does say find domain and range. Domain is easy. It's all reals but our vertical asymptotes. It's basically our restriction. So all reals but x cannot be negative 2. Our range is all reals but y can't be negative 1. That's where the asymptotes are. Okay, just can you tell me the asymptotes are? That's our domain and range. Very simple. All right, example 3, same idea. So steps were find the vertical asymptote, find our restriction for x. So vertical asymptote, well, I'm just changing the sign, x cannot be negative 1. All right horizontal asymptote, I'll use this, well that's just k, k is negative 4, so that means y cannot be negative 4. Those are my two asymptotes, draw the picture, draw the asymptotes, so x cannot be negative 1, so let's call this negative 1, All right, I'll call that negative 1, y can't be negative 4, so it's called negative 4 down here. All right, that's negative 4. Draw our curves. So a is negative, so don't start on the top right, start on the bottom right. So it looks something like this. It straightens out, goes down, it straightens out. Then it switches to so the other side up here. There's my picture. I really don't care about the starting point, but I do need domain and range. Domain, all reals for x except x can't be negative 1. Range, y cannot be negative 4. Okay, you check your calculator if you want, but these are really simple. Just can you tell me the asymptotes? Draw them and draw the curves in the correct spots. All right, here's your practice problem. If you knew you should be fine for class, you can just win. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.